Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on the Balance Channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's 9th Avenue in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to look at the surfaces in Geodesy, right? Good. So basically, we have um, three surfaces. They are the geoid, the ellipsoid, and then the reference ellipsoid, and then the topographic surface, right? Good. Or just say the edge surface. Now, they have a relationship, as you can see. The relationship is shown in this picture and then um, we actually got this picture from some research works online so um, you can see the topographic edge surface you can see that um, this rugged surface you can see the joint in red and then you can see the reference ellipsoid in green right good so to demonstrate this we have some points um, some coordinates around or let's say across river state and then we have the different height values and then we want to use these um, height values that's the ellipsoidal and the autometric to get what the geoidal undulation which is the separation right good so um, if you come back here you can still see the end right good so you have your capital letter H your small letter h and then your n right good so they are related with this formula whereby your capital letter h which is your automatic height is equal to your small letter h minus your what your n right good which means your ellipsoidal height which is the height from the reference ellipsoid to the topographic surface is a composite of what the undulation which is from the reference ellipsoid to the joint and then from the joint what to the um, topographic edge surface right good so we are going to okay we have written a few stuff here the joint this is the surface that represents the mean sea level extended um, across the earth so it accounts for the variation in gravitational forces and approximate the true shape of what the earth now the the complexity of the earth surface makes it very difficult for many mathematical computations Hence, we have a true best fit, just like you can see, the true shape of the earth being represented with what the, or represented by the chair, right, good, which approximates or best approximates to what to the mean sea level. However, even this um, joint is not completely perfect. So, a mathematical surface was created or was designed or was generated which is what our ellipsoid or the reference ellipsoid now you have different ellipsoid depending on your location and whatever tax you want to carry out so it takes us toward the ellipsoid also known as a reference ellipsoid this is a mathematically defined surface that approximates the shape of the earth right good as a flattened sphere which is an oblate spheroid so if you look closely the green line here is more even like um, without perturbations compared to the joint and the topographic earth surface which is what um so so complex from even this um, representation so it is used for latitude and longitude and elevation determination in map projections and it's essential in genetic computations right good now for the topographic surface this is where i'm actually making this video right good so it's the um, actual physical surface of the earth including all natural and man-made features like mountains valleys buildings which are some of the reasons why they are not as even as what even the joint or the ellipsoid right good so the irregular surface is what we used to see and major in field surface right good so these are just um, some basic introductions so you can see the relationship and then these are other ways to show them right good so we have our small h which is um, from the reference ellipsoid to the topographic surface and then we have our capital letter h which is what from the main sea level yeah ocean surface c main ocean surface rather to what to the topographic surface and then we now have what the um, the n which is actually um, the difference at every point the separation at every point right good between the joint and the reference ellipsoid right good so the relationship is that okay the joint and the ellipsoid we have written some stuff the joint is a potential surface right that's um, equal potential 
across all the surfaces, right? Good that represents the mean sea level and varies um, with gravitational anomalies. Whereas the ellipsoid is a smooth, mathematically defined surface that approximates what the Earth shape as a flattened um, sphere, right? Good. So we have that of the geoid and the topographic surface, and then we also have that of the ellipsoid and the what the topographic surface, right? Good. Now, in practical terms, GPS produces positions based on what the ellipsoid, right? Good. The reference ellipsoid resulting in ellipsoidal height. So if you carry out, um, maybe if you use a Genesis receiver to carry out a tax, a GPS specifically, you are going to have what um, ellipsoidal height because um, the position is based on a specific um, reference ellipsoid, right? Good. Then for mapping or for mapping and elevation, especially in construction, maybe surveying or whatever, we use the joint based automatic height. So maybe if you're carrying out any survey tax, most of the times your um, elevation values are referenced to the mean sea level, which is what the joint is, right? Good. So the transformation between these two surfaces, um, basically the joint and then the ellipsoid, with reference to what the earth surface should um, involve accurate height transformation between the surfaces to require a model for the joint and relation, right? Good. To relate the ellipsoid to the joint, right? Good. Now, the joint undulation, which is also known as the joint height, which is N, right? Good. Um, as we have seen it here, which is what we want to um, appreciate in our spreadsheet, maybe in a couple of minutes, right? Good. So that separation is the vertical distance between the joint and a choosing reference ellipsoid at any given point on the earth surface. So if you have, um, let's say you have picked this point, right? Good. So you have determined the location. Now you're trying to look at what the general undulation. So at this point, you can reference to the joint. You can also reference to reference ellipsoid, right? Good. So at this point, the difference between the height when you reference to your joint and the way you reference to your reference ellipsoid, that is what the joidal undulation, right? Good. So you know, if you look at it closely, um, at this point, the joidal elevation is higher than um, the ellipsoid are right good so when you now come close to this point you now see that what the uh, ellipsoidal is higher than the joint which means that they are not uniform across all points right good so at some point you can even see the earth surface is even what going down so there are variations and it is this variation that um, is being monitored right good so that we're trying to determine or something so um let's still come back it measures how much the mean sea level represented by the geoid deviates from the smooth, regular surface of the ellipsoid due to Earth's what gravitational variations, which we have just told you it at all. So the definition it is positive when the geoid is above the ellipsoid. So we told you at some point it can be higher, it can be lower, right? Good and negative when the geoid is below, right? Good. So calculation, this is it. So for the relationship. That's in the height system where we have the capital letter H equal to small letter H what minus N. Uh, capital letter H what is your automatic reference to the joint or mean sea level. Then your small letter H is what your ellipsoidal, which is reference to your reference ellipsoid, right? Good. And then we have the N, which is the joint undulation or the joint height, right? Good. So if you want to make N the subject of the formula, it will simply be what your small letter N minus what your your small letter H minus your capital letter H, right? Good. So in application, we name the joint undulation is essential for converting GPS based ellipsoidal heights to automatic heights, right? Good. So if you know the joint undulation of your location, or maybe of any location, you can convert the height given to you by your GPS to what the um, equivalent automatic height, right? Good. So which are practical for applications like construction, navigation, hydrology that rely on what means level as what reference, right? Good. So um, we have given you a rundown to the point where we have it. Now, if we come back to our data, we told you these are some points across River State where we have the two eyes, right? Good. One to the reference ellipsoid and then one to what the mean sea level right so by a simple mathematical relationship we have told you that your undulation is simply the difference between small h minus what the capital letter h 
so if we say equal to this minus this enter so it has given us a value that represents what the joidal undulation or the joid height at this particular latitude and longitude right good so if we decide to extend or to fill you are going to see now that the values are almost similar by averaging we have about 18.93 and then you can see that the values range from 19.05, 19.05, 18.87, 18.87, 18. So this shows you that by hypothesis, we are trying to infer that the general undulation in River State ranges around what 18.93 to maybe 19 point something, of which um, maybe further investigation can prove. Because basically the coordinates here are within the state, and then these are the two height values that we are getting for these. Um, different locations right good and then they gave us or oh, it's yeah these two height values give us this n as what the joidal undulation so we are trying to hypothesize that um, the um, joidal undulation is within what this um, range of um, 18.93 um, or maybe 19.0 something right good so basically we have given you a rundown using this um, practical example yeah at the latter point and then from the beginning we have run you through some brief explanations showing you physically yeah the physical head surface the reference ellipsoid the joint their relationship with the um, the joint height or maybe the joint undulation right good so we um, hope to see you on the next tutorial if you um, need a copy of the um, the notes we have used or the data we have here you can always reach out to us and then we'll see how to make it available to you so until we see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a fantastic time bye